Brent, how are you doing? I'm good, Ian. How are you? I'm all good.
Uh, someone going to be linking you up in the next part of the show to sure. uh, sort of like textbook center. It's quite competitive. Let's sure. say an example, textbook center has been there for like 65 years. There's so many other stores and bookstores that have been there for so long. How exactly do you remain competitive in That's such a market? Yeah, <laughs> one of the things that uh, at Chibanga Books as the founder I do, yeah. I don't compete. Mm -hmm. That's my strategy. Mm -hmm. I don't compete. Yeah. When you don't compete, you learn. You learn the way the consumer wants and you just do exactly that. Mm -hmm. You look at competition from, from afar. I'm working with uh, Kibanga Books, but the competition is, is not part of my problem. I'm looking at the consumer. I'm looking at you. Yeah. You want a certain book. Yeah. You want it in a certain convenience or in a certain place. Mm -hmm. That's what basically I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And when people realize you're doing that, they, they are, they're like, you're the guy, we've been looking for you for a while. Mm -hmm. um, so this particular industry, or rather how exactly you're going about your business is that you're mostly focused on online, from what exactly I've seen. Yeah, sure. and you told me that you had to have a physical store whereby clients can actually walk in. What exactly informed that and how exactly is the reception? now in Nairobi mm -hmm. and we are sure we'll be very competitive yeah. and uh, uh, look for me after five years yeah. and talk to me then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wishing you all the best. So we're going to take a short commercial break and after the break I'm going to be linking up a uh, brand to one of the main uh, management stakeholders here at um, Textbook Centre. So don't touch that dial, I'll see you after the break.